Hello, it's Dave here from DaveMenzies.com, DM Online. Uh, another screen flow video for you today, and this time quite a quick one on just showing you how to do some really nice transitions between clips rather than just having one clip going from the end right to the start of another one. Uh, these are just a nice little way of um, introducing a, a nice little transition effect in between. And there's quite a few of them already in ScreenFlow. So I've pulled in a couple of clips um, that I filmed at the weekend for a client of mine, the project that we're working on. And I'm just going to drag those into the timeline so that you can have a look at how we, we're going to do this. Duplicated one for some reason there. There we go. Pop that in there and I'll just get rid of this one since we don't need that. Okay, what I'm also going to do with both of these is I'm going to detach the audio because we don't need it. We're not going to use the audio in this uh, for our actual video and it's not really relevant to the to the uh, demonstration here. So we'll just cut the audio from those. So we now just have the video of those two clips and we'll show again. I'll just let you have a look at how that looks at the moment without a transition. It goes from one video straight to another which in some cases is good, but um, in, in this video I'm going to be using a lot of transitions. So the way you do that is when you have your two your clips lined up like this, they're they're all separated. You may have already split the clips from a, a longer video and you want to just do a little fade in between two parts of it. It's just kind of what I've done here. So you're just going to drag the second clip over so that it overlaps the first clip. And you'll see when you do that in ScreenFlow you get a nice little icon there and a little gear wheel which shows you the different transition effects you can have. Now, if you just go to this little arrow here, you'll see all the different transition types come up here. Quite a few of them, I don't know, there's sort of 20, 30, something like that of them. They're all the standard types of transitions you've probably seen on videos before. And there's some other stuff in here that you maybe haven't. So a lot, a lot of choices. I'll start by showing you just, uh, I'm not going to go through them all, but let's just look at a very popular one, which is just a cross dissolve, which just means that the clips fade from one to the next, and let's look at how that looks. Here it comes, and now we're starting the dissolve, so you can see Fraser disappearing, it's coming onto his workbench for the second clip. Okay, let's have a look at another couple. If we just go back here again, back to the transitions, we can maybe go for something a little bit more dramatic, uh, let's try a grid wipe and let's see how that looks. So you're getting a little grid on there and it's filling in. That's actually quite a nice little effect. And then it wipes off at the end. So kind of nice. Look at one more because I've used one in here actually that I quite like. I haven't seen before myself or haven't used before, which is a melt. I quite like this effect. And let's look at that. There we can see the first one just melting away and leaving the second. Quite nice. So obviously it depends an awful lot on the type of video you are making, what which one of these dissolves you want to use. You can also, if we go back into the editor here, um, well, if you double click on there, it, it opens up the little timer thing. So if you wanted that to be shorter, say even just a couple of seconds, uh, let's do that. And then we just hit the little play icon. We're done. Let's just... Close that and see how that looks quicker. So there we go. Off he goes, melting away into the next clip. <laughs> okay, so dead easy to use. Um, as usual with video editing, you just want to make sure you've got you've, you've thought carefully about what you want to achieve and don't just put transitions in randomly for the sake of it. And there's nothing worse than watching a, a short video that is just packed with transitions just because you can. <laughs> so, but used sparingly, they are they are really effective, especially if you're doing videos for clients, um, and getting paid for it. So I hope you find that one useful. If if so, um, please just leave me a little comment and uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. There's lots more videos on here on ScreenFlow and on internet marketing in general. Also, if you want to click on the info, if you if you mouse over to the top right until you see the little info button on the video. Uh, if you want to look at a, a free series of videos from the Six Figure Mentors and Digital Experts Academy, who are a, an education platform and also a business opportunity uh, all around digital education, digital marketing, creating an internet business, or how to leverage the internet to grow an existing business you may already have. 
and video editing is just one of the many aspects of digital marketing that they cover so um, I think you'd probably find that a very useful thing to have a look at so just click on there and that will take you to a page where you can subscribe to get those videos completely free uh, there's no commitment of any kind or anything it's just really for your information okay so that's it for me and I'll see you in the next video cheers for now bye bye